previously on. Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Uh Okay. I'm sorry about that. Um Fuck you, bitch! In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again. <laughs> ah, yes! Yes! I like that. I like that a lot. Nick, do I have some information for you, buddy? Nick. Where's your son? What happened? <laughs> Where is my son? <laughs> where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No yeah, synth does. I know. Security protocols strip those memories out. Oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman, feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? Yeah. The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Mm-hmm. Huh. He had it coming. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. What do you mean? Talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. Doctor who? Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Wait a minute. You mean this thing? Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether so it we're is. we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Actually, if you're gonna go there regardless, I might as well just take Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Cool. Oh, shit, man. This is interesting. So the memory den, it's in good neighbor, which means most likely we would need to travel to a different city. Nick, move! Anyways.
Oh, wow. Great. Alright, well, in that case... On to Good Neighbor We Go. Thanks to Nick Valentine and Piper Wright, which... Why are they walking so slow? All right. You see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? Big blimp? Where do you see the blimp at? Anyways, I'm out. All right, all right, good neighbor, here we go! Hey, Piper. Alright, so... Ugh, oh, my goodness. As far as I'm concerned, hopefully Good Neighbor is around the corner because it's already a bitch just to travel in between cities. Especially with all the zombies, super mutants, other sons of bitches. And Piper just hiding in the corner, acting like she's doing something. Great. I don't want to command. I can't even talk to Piper, bro. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me look at the map again. Let me look at the map again. Damn, that's a long way to go. Oh my god, it's. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Wow. Of course, good neighbor's not even close. Please stop scaring me, Piper. Was that you, Piper? Y you said who's there, right? Piper, you said who's there, right? Oh my fucking god. Oh no, I'm I'm running. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I'm running. No, Piper, I don't see that cuz I'm minding my bit. Piper Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. She's so fucking nosy. Yeah, this is gonna be a long day. Eee! What the fuck is that? No, I killed the dog. No! I killed a dog. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Ooh, cocktail. Stimmy. Hell yeah. Oh, great. There's more. No, no shit. Ah, uh, they're shooting over there. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? So I just realized something. You see where I'm pointing at? Those are two death claws fighting each other. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> all right, can we go now, pipe? No, we can't go. Okay, that's cool. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, back in my day, it's not. But let's just take a nice little walk, okay? Come on. Let's take a nice little walk. Oh my god, are we walking into another fight? Oh my god, I can't. I guess we are, right? Something's out there. Oh, wow. Uh, we're just gonna mind our business. Yeah, we're gonna mind our business. Anyways. Damn, this shit is crazy as hell. It's like I can't even walk ten feet 
I felt someone trying to bust a cap in my ass. Like, I can't even take a nice little stroll or anything. Alright, let me see here. This way? Yeah? How you doing, Piper? Good, she's alive. No, 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 I'm not dealing with this bullshit. I'm not dealing with this bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Piper! Pi- Pi- <clears throat> Oh my god, she would be the one to stay behind. You nosy little- Yeah, I'm mad too. Oh my god. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. Oh shit, who's this? Anyways, Piper, get your bitch ass hey, out of here. You say the word. I say you need to stop trying to find fights and let's fucking walk. I'm trying to go good neighbor. Anyways, I'm not. Oh my god, I'm done. Oh my god. Anyways. I honestly don't know how I didn't die yet. How the hell did you survive that explosion, Piper? You were right next to it. How are you alive? This game logic is beautiful. I love this. I love how you can survive atomic level explosions without a scratch. But if someone Get shoots you up. a couple times, that's it, you're dead. Play games with me, huh? Wow, this boy is on fire! And dead, but he's on fire mostly. And Piper's nosy ass is trying to fight someone that's on the fucking roof. You suck, Piper. Talk a lot of shit. But fuck it. All I know is this good neighbor trip better be worth it because... Wait, maybe I can flank them. Can I? Hold on. Yeah, me. Oh, they're gone. Wait. No, they're not. There you go. Piper, where are you? Damn, Piper, you really trying to get them. Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Wow, you shot him! Good job, bro! Like, you're awesome. Alright, let's go. I admire your determination, Piper, but sometimes you, you just gotta take an L. Because you stay wanting to fight everyone. I feel like we've been through here before. Yeah, we have! Supposedly there's this nasty monster in this lake, but I really don't want to stay and find out. Because at this point, my PTSD is through the roof. I'm not going to do the freedom trail. I just need to go to Good Neighbor, please. Let me go to Good Neighbor. That's, uh, that's all I need. Piper, why are you... Oh my god. Get over here! Anyways. We're almost to Good Neighbor, thank goodness. We survived a couple of... No, 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 no. Fuck out of here. Uh, this... Are you kidding me? Zombies and super mutants? Oh my god, we're not catching a break here. What do you think mm. that was? Uh, that was a zombie, but I guess you guys call it a feral ghoul or some shit. Alright, um... Uh, yeah. 
Anyways, I just want to go good neighbor. I don't know why half the world's attacking us. Like, I feel like at this point it's a hate crime. <gasps> Thank God! Oh my God! We're in good neighbor! Oh my God, yes! We did it! We did it! We did it! Hey! First time in good neighbor? Yeah. You can't go walking around without insurance. What the fuck do you mean, insurance? Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me, insurance, I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, oh? or accidents start happening to you. Oh? Big, bloody accidents. Oh! Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come oh. on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh my god, a shit! Oh, no, why do you no. say that, huh? Oh! Breaking my heart over here. Holy shit, you know, he right, just. Sister? You just shanked him. You him! Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good you neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Oh. Everyone's welcome. Oh. Wow. Like. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. You don't have to tell me twice since you shanked the fuck out of him. Always on. Huh? What happened? What'd you say? Hey. Just let me know. Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. Hmm. So, what's up with the Minutemen? Tell me then? about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? Yeah. As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. Yeah, they a person used to be told a me that. Volunteer army, dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were a real thing at one point. Hmm. So what about the railroad? You said something about the railroad? Supposedly they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but they're secretive. Ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor. A, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. You know, it's a interesting thing you said that because on our way over to Good Neighbor, there was a little sign that says follow the Freedom Trail. So after our memory den, we'll definitely take a look at that. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want, especially if it's high tech. Hmm. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. Of course they do. We should get going. All right. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Um. Uh, didn't realize I had been. So this is you not even trying, huh? Yeah. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? <laughs> Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Damn, I feel you, bro. But the thing is... Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. Really? A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. 
Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. That is true. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, That's cute. Uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. Oh. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. What a bitch. He wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was going to leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I That's wasn't about dirty. To let that bastard get away with murder. That is so I fucking to dirty. To the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. Of course he did. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time, and Mom was... out of the picture. So Damn. We got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with the caravan, and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. Wow, Piper. You saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. Because but you hey, told them I, the truth, bro. I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Hmm. Wow. Now it makes sense as to why you act the way you act. And you know what? I'm starting to really like you already. Alright, let's go to the memory den. Let's see what we can fish up off of Kellogg's brain. This looks like a brothel. Dead ass. Like, look at this. Girls, girls, girls. Cocktails. Hmm, okay. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. Mm. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Oh, mm. Valentine's spitting game. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Wow, look at you, Valentine. No wonder, living up to your name, eh? All right. Alright, I'll follow you through, Nick. Damn, this place is busted, though. I know it smells musty in this place. It has to be. Because we're going to the fucking basement. Oh my god. Okay. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Doctor. It's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Yo, I just love these sarcastic options. It's... I love it. Technically, I love it. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. Fine. 
I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? A piece of his brain? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain! Yo, I'm such an asshole. I no, love this. I will not. <laughs> now, do you have it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How much of the brain do you need? Exactly. That is not an encouraging question. What you mean? I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Oh, okay. So Here's here you go. What I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. Why are you looking at it like that? It? A neural interface? Yeah. Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Okay, so... So, the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're oh, talking about no. me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Nick, are you sure, bro? We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. Fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. It's a coping mechanism. I'm sorry. I'm scared if too, I start bro. Cackling like an old grizzled mercenary. Pull me out, okay? Oh lord. Nick. Let's see you. How are you going to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine? It just disappeared any all of a sudden. Your cognitive functions could be dire. Okay. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. Hmm. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. Okay, that good. That doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used two? Two cents? Both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Me? While your cognitive functions in parallel. You he want host, me? While your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Hey, yo, what the fuck, bro? Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. Nick and I are gonna share a mind? I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all that took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Hey! Uh, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Okay. So... Fuck it. Alright. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Oh, See you Lord. on the other side. Yep. See you on the other side. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you next time.